Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, as promised, we are back with another Will My Curls Pop. And if you are new, welcome. Make sure you hit the subscribe button on your way out or right now, as a matter of fact. But, yes, yeah, so, yellow t-shirt. If you are a part of the Will My Curls Pop gang, you already know what this means. I am trying out new products that I've never tried before. And every week, we do a live stream on Wednesdays to pick out the products. And this week, we picked out my Yelp Organic. So, if you guys tuned in, we had a bunch of fun. Make sure you are subscribed and you hit the bell to be notified whenever I go live or post a new video. I do go live on Wednesdays between 10 and 1. And that's where we have our girl chat. We pick the products and we just have fun. So, I'm super excited. You guys said that these results are going to be like Camille Rose. And if you don't know, Camille Rose has been my favorite throughout this series that is the best wash and go results I have found so far so I'm hoping that this will be a close second or even top it so let's go ahead and talk about the products and then we'll get started so I picked up the Mayel Organics Moisturizing Avocado Hair Milk and it looks like this and you guys know how I feel about hair milks my hair is very very thick and I have a lot of it so I tend to go towards creams or butters but you guys swear by this hair milk so let's see what this can do let's see the consistency and the smell really quick so mm, it has like a really light smell coconut kind of smell really really nice and pleasant let's see the texture oh oh it came out <laughs> <coughs> some just came out okay all right so when I squeeze it onto my hands um hmm, wow the consistency is actually thicker than what I thought so this may just be what you guys are talking about I'm gonna just put that on my shirt and my hair is dripping so we gotta hurry up all right so next I picked up the styling gel which is um honey and ginger right here also another product you guys swear by let me see how this smells Oh, okay. Smells straight like ginger. So if you are not a fan, it does have a strong ginger smell. It really just smells like um, ginger and honey tea, to be honest. So let me see the consistency. And I love a gel with a pump. Okay, so this gel is, it kind of feels like conditioner. Um, it doesn't have that typical gel kind of feel. It's very soft and it feels like it's going to be moisturizing. So I'm excited about that. Alright, so without further ado, I'm not going to ramble on too much. You guys know the drill. Will Mayo Organics make my curls pop? Let's find out. Here we go. Alright. So here is my hair freshly washed and deep conditioned as well. So I had the last bit of the TGIN deep conditioner in my hair. So I have to actually go out and pick out some more because that was the last bit of deep conditioner I had, period. So, and I like to deep condition my hair every week. Um, that's definitely a must. Alright, so I'm going to section off the bottom half. Alright, so let's go in with the hair milk. I just made sure that section was extremely wet. I still don't have my water bottle. I didn't get it from my homegirl house. So, uh, yeah, I had to go use the water from the sink. But, um, okay. It feels moisturizing, but it also feels light. So that's just like one little coat. And I'm putting like this much in my hands, if y'all can see that. Ooh, it was about to slip out. So yeah, this is a very kind of water-based product. I'm gonna look and see if water is the first ingredient. All 
Alright, so I actually can't really see. I switched up the lens that I'm using this week. I'm not sure if you guys can tell. And I tried to work on the lighting, so just let me know how the quality is. Um, so my camera is a lot further away, so I can't really see what it's doing to my hair right now. I'm going to have to look in the mirror. Doesn't really seem like it's clumping my hair together. I'm trying to look down at it. It does feel moisturized though, and it feels like a little bit, um, I don't want to say greasy, but it feels oily. That's what I'll say. It definitely does feel oily. All right, so I'm just going to stop there. I'm going to try to see what the gel can do. Did three pumps of the gel. Automatically, I feel like the gel just did something. I can feel it. Alright, let me bring you guys in, of course, like we always do, so we can really get a closer look and see... But I feel like the gel just changed up the game. What do you think? Alright, so here is a close-up on my hair. Um, I don't know. Like, it, feel, it feels a little stiff now because of the gel. So I'm going to put a little bit more of the cream on top. Now that it kind of has like a tacky feeling. And I'm going to just do one more pump of the gel. And I'm smoothing. I'm trying not to rake. Because it seems like smoothing is a little better for my hair. Alright, so that's the first section. What do we think? Let's do another one. Well, of course we got to do another one. <laughs> Let's do this section. And I'm trying to make sure my hair is soaking wet because that's what I feel like is going to be better for this product. For my hair to be soaking wet. Alright, so I'm going to put one more coat. I think that's a little better. So it's definitely better than the first section. Maybe that section wasn't wet enough. I'm definitely seeing the difference. I'm just going to do two pumps this time of the gel. Now see, when I put the gel on, a weird texture. I like the way it feels with just the cream. What do you guys think? I mean, I do see the curls popping, that's for sure. But, it's something about this gel I'm not too sure of. Alright, I'm just going to continue to do the rest of my head. I don't really have... Um, a lot of comments right now. I know you guys are probably disappointed that I'm not like jumping over joy, but I don't know. My hair kind of feels dry. After you put the gel on it, it does feel dry. So, alright, let's keep going. I don't know what's going on, but I don't like it, y'all. Uh, when I go on with the styler and my hair is really, really wet, it takes to it very well. It feels moisturized. It starts clumping together. But then when I put the gel on, like at first when I put it on, it feels smooth. And then it just starts to feel dry. And it's still very frizzy, if you can see. It's not 
Like it's not as flat as my hair normally is. It's very big already, so that scares me. Um, it. I don't know, y'all. I don't think this is working good on my hair. I'm really shocked. I don't even know what else to say. So I'm gonna finish the other half of my hair, and then we're gonna start drying. Okay, here is my hair, y'all. So. <laughs> <coughs> Um, I don't really know what to say. It's, it's very light. It has a lot of movement. It's not stiff, even though it feels kind of dry to the touch. Um, I did like go over it with some water after I put the gel because like I said, when I put the gel, it just feels very dry. I don't think that, um, those two products work well on my hair and even though they are from the same line they are not meshing well with my hair type because when I put on the moisturizer it feels very moisturized very soft and then when I put on the gel it gets like it starts getting beady the little white um, balls and everything and it's like oil and vinegar oh no not oil and vinegar but water and oil it's starting to they don't mix well for my hair and I turned the gel around on the back and read the directions and it just says to actually apply a liberal amount and then style so I think I'm going to give this gel a try just on its own um, just do a solely gel wash and go with that product and see um, if maybe that's how my hair type can handle that product I don't think that those two products work well I definitely do like the hair milk on its own and I'll probably use it with a gel that I know um, works better on my hair so we're gonna go ahead and dry I'm gonna shoot it with some cold water and then I mean mm, some cold air and let it air dry for the most part and hopefully the results will be nice I don't know y'all this is a this is a shock I've never like had results like this um, the only results like that were kind of close but my hair was flatter was the dark and lovely that just made my hair very very stringy it didn't you know make my curls bounce it just kind of weighed my hair down so my hair was very stringy but this just feels like it's going to just be very frizzy and undefined so but I'm not sure let's see how it dries and I'll be back hi wow oh, guys 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 so I've air dried some, hit it with some cold air with the blow dryer and I don't think it's going to get any better. It's about 60% dry right now and I don't see it drying fully changing the way it's going to look. So this is it. This is what Mayo Organics, it did not work on me my hair is very very frizzy still if you can see right here and I'll do some close-ups it left a lot of white in my hair and my phone is ringing I'll get it in a second um, now some parts of my hair are defined my parts where um, they are kind of uh, which one is it high porosity where it absorbs stuff really well like these bits here and these bits here they are they're coiled but they're still just y'all know this is not this is not the business this is not how my hair looks so yeah I <laughs> is this my first fail I don't know like <laughs> it's not that I don't know like I did not like the results from dark and lovely but I don't know if I could call that a fail or not like is this my first fail do you guys think this is a fail I do I definitely think it's a fail um, uh, I don't even know what to say but like I said I definitely want to try the gel on its own like it has on the directions maybe for my hair type that will give me better results so if you would like to see me give this a second try give this video a thumbs up I will have that out for you guys next week along with another will my curls pop so we'll have a few videos uh, next week coming out 
and yeah so I don't know guys I'm sorry it didn't work on me and that just goes to show that every product that works on you or works on somebody else it might not work vice versa so this is a big lesson learned where a lot of you guys watch us you know try out products and we say how great it is but then when you try it out you're like what the hell was they talking about this ain't work this is proof because a lot of you guys said that you had bomb results and I'm sorry but this is not bomb. I've had way better. So um, this is all a learning process. That's why I'm here. I'm happy to do it for you guys. I'll just throw in a hat and be good. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This was exciting because we were kind of on a roll and we were getting better and better results. So this definitely humbled me a lot um, and, you know, broke my cockiness down just a little bit because I don't think my curls popped on this one, y'all. So, yes, this was fun all in all. Thank you for watching and make sure you're subscribed if you haven't. Give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what are your thoughts and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!